The Japanese princess Nori spent her entire life in a palace. She had dozens of maids serving her. She wasn't required to work for a living. Even the basics of grocery shopping were beyond her. Despite the envy of many, the princess made the decision to give up luxury 18 years ago. Nori married a regular clerk. She has a deep passion for this man. She fled the palace and renounced her title because of this. Welcome back to Best Royal Affairs. In today's video, we will see the love story of Princess Nori of Japan. How has her life turned out since then? How does she live now and does she regret her choice? Let's get into it. For those who don't know, Princess Nori is Sayako Kurada, who was born on April 18th of 1969 and is the youngest sister of the reigning Japanese Emperor Noruhito and a youngest child and only daughter of the Emperor Emeritus Akihito and Empress Emerita Michiko. Prior to her marriage to Yoshiki Kuruda on November 15th of 2005, Kuruda was known as Nori no Miya or Princess Nori. She was required by the imperial household law to give up her imperial title and leave the Japanese imperial family as a result of her marriage. Sayako was a genuine sweet child who was born two weeks earlier than anticipated, according to her mother. She was rumored to appreciate the natural surroundings of Togu Palace, where her parents lived as the crown princely couple. Her father referred to her as Miss Don't Mind later in life because of how light-hearted she was and always acted in life. Princess Sayako's experience with being constrained by her status as an imperial princess has also been discussed by Empress Michiko. The princess has always had the support of her family, and it's said that the palace staff went above and beyond to assist her when her parents were away. Japanese people uphold their millennia-old customs. Although the imperial house still exists in the nation, the monarch has not been in power for a very long time and does not participate in politics with the family. With funds from the state budget, he enjoys a luxurious lifestyle. Tradition dictates that his offspring should only select aristocrats as spouses. However, because there isn't a lot of variety, it's not simple. Because of this, the royal family has broken precedent frequently in the recent years. A modest girl was chosen as the 125th Emperor of Japan, Akihito, who was in power from 1989 to 2019 and ruled for 30 years. On a tennis court, he fell in love after meeting Michikoda. Despite having received her education in a Catholic setting, she was considered a too low class for the young crown prince. Japanese traditionalist organizations were adamantly opposed to their involvement. However, the mother of Prince Akihito, who deeply impressed Kojun, was one of the marriage's fiercest opponents. Ryutos claims that she made her daughter-in-law and grandkids depressed by claiming that Choda wasn't a good match for her son. Akihito and Michiko did get married in 1959 though. They had three kids, two sons and Sayako Kuruda, who was previously known as Princess Nori. This marriage was depicted in the media as a true fairy tale. A commoner had never before married into an imperial family. Princess Nori defies over 2,600 years of tradition by growing up following in the footsteps of her devoted parents. She comes to the conclusion that love was the essential thing. She consequently made the decision to only marry for love and when she wanted to. Nori was raised in a lavish palace. She had sizable staff. Children of royalty were not permitted to do anything in the home per royal tradition. Nori was unable to even make herself a cup of tea. It was compelled by her servants. She was unfamiliar with daily life. She didn't ever even go shopping. She had a personal driver and solely used a car to drive around the city. Princess Nori spent her early years devoted to her academics. She received her degree from the Japanese Language and Literature Department. Gokushin University's Faculty of Letters awarded him a Bachelor of Letters in Japanese Language and Literature in 1992. Later that year, she was hired as a research associate at the Yamashina Institute for Ornithology. She joined as a researcher at the same institute in 1998. She first met her future husband, Yoshiki Kurada, while they were both students at the institution. For a very long period, they were only friends, but they made the interaction public in 2004. Princess Nori was only 35 years old at the time. Her husband was 39 years old. Urban planner Yoshiki Kuruda works for the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. He has never been wealthy and holds no noble titles. He is a regular Japanese man who works in an office for a pittance. Nevertheless, the princess developed a romantic interest in him and desired to wed him. Before continuing to the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so that you won't miss any more interesting content like this. Moving on. Nobody in the palace made an effort to stop this union. The princess was given a requirement though, which required her to leave the palace after the wedding and forfeit her royal title and money in order to marry a commoner. This wasn't an issue. She had always compared life in the palace to being confined in a golden cage. She decided on love. In 2005, the wedding was held at the Tokyo's Imperial Hotel. By royal standards, the celebration was very underwhelming. The emperor and empress and other members of the imperial family attended the ceremony. There were 120 guests and roughly 30 people. 
Between the royal palace and the city hotel, where the half-hour marriage ride took place, thousands of well-wishers formed a line in the streets. Princess Nori later abandoned the imperial family and adopted her husband's surname. Yoshiki Kuruda married an imperial princess as the first non-aristocratic commoner. Since the adoption of the imperial household law in 1947, Nori is the sixth female member of the Japanese imperial family to wed a commoner. Kuruda left her position as an ornithologist in order to prioritize her family. She lost everything, including the owners of money, a palace, a private automobile, and employees. She did not, however, regret it because she found true love which was more valuable. She no longer qualifies for an imperial alliance, but she reportedly received a $1.2 million wedding gift from the government. However, it is not so much by the Japanese standards because it is exceedingly expensive to live in Tokyo. The couple was unable to purchase even a home. They consequently rented a tiny apartment. Princess Sayako allegedly took driving lessons and practiced grocery shopping as a way to get ready for her change in lifestyle. The former princess lacked basic skills in several areas, such as understanding that you need a cart at the grocery store. Sayako had to pick up new skills like cooking, cleaning, and dishwashing. There were no servants in her new home to do it for her like she was used to. It was very challenging because all she had ever known was a palace etiquette and lavish luxury. She recalled the fable her mother had told her when times were tough. One snail grumbled about the burdensome load. However, she recognized that everyone had their own struggles when she saw the large mansions on other snails' backs. The former princess picked up all she needed for her new life very quickly. The couple eventually moved into a new house of their own. So that Sayoko could keep in touch with her family, they placed their home close to the regal castle. Since then, 18 years have passed. Kuruda has continued to attend some ceremonial events with other members of the imperial family after getting married. In order to help her aunt Atsuka Ikeda, the main priestess of the shrine, Kuruda was appointed a high priestess of the Ise Grand Shrine in 2012. In 2017, she formally succeeded Atsuka Ikeda as the head priestess of the Ise Grand Shrine. The ex-princess and her husband are still in love to this day. The pair does not have any kids together, however Sayako enjoys spending her time with her nephews. Sayako Kuruda has been alive for 53 years and her husband is 57. Because she understood that a modest lifestyle with a cherished guy is significantly more important than wealth and imperial titles, the former princess has never grumbled about the circumstances of a new life. She now lives in Ise for a few weeks each year, spending time away from Tokyo. She was present when the imperial pair traveled to the Ise shrine for the ceremony to inform Amaterasu of her father's impending resignation in April of 2019. In April of 2021, Kuroda Yoshiki was elevated from the position of chief of the urban planning section to that of a more significant general. Although the new job is better paid than the normal salary of 10 million yen earned by section heads in the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, the couple had been paying off their home debt for 15 years at this point. Kuruda Sayako was raised as a princess and is now a private person. She finds peace in praying for the populace and the imperial family. So that is all for today. Do you think Princess Nori is leading a happy life, or do you think she regrets her decision? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also tap the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates from when we upload. View more videos on our playlist, and we'll see you in the next one.